Call 1-800-695-1418 for details. You know, life is an adventure. Life's fun. I'm just one of those people that I see something, I just want to do it. I'm doing the same thing I've been doing for over 35 years. I'm really doing one-of-a-kind jewelry, and the majority of the time, the mine finds that you see on the show, it's the first time they've ever been shown. I think what really our edge is, I know exactly the story. That's what people love. They love the uniqueness of the materials that we find, but they love knowing that they're gonna have a piece of jewelry that they're not gonna see on everybody. Well, hello everybody. We're almost at 2022, just a few days left. I've got an exciting, jam-packed two-hour show with the one and only Jay King. Let me give you a quick little preview of some of the amazing items I have coming up, but we're also gonna start out with a five and five, but let me show you what some of my special items that I have coming up. This is an incredibly rare stone. I'm not sure anybody has ever seen a necklace like this before. It's multicolored red cinnabar. It is incredible. Incredibly rare, incredibly beautiful, and at a fabulous sale price. Um, this is a natural composite. It also has some opal and feldspar in it, so it's this amazingly rare combination where you get this magical necklace, $33.13. So also available in this hour, one of my all-time favorite things, but hardly ever have them, is amber and this amber is actually lithuanian amber which is where my grandparents emigrated from in the 30s from lithuania i think i don't know why i gravitate towards it and then when i found out it was from lithuania i was like "Ooh, i wonder if there's something magical about that the earrings are 36.25 the necklace is 99 dollars and 93 cents obviously huge sales half price so it's two hundred dollars now i don't have a lot of these i have a few few hundred of everything that you're seeing today but i wanted to show you these in case you wanted to pre-order that amber necklace is actually at the very end of the hour it may not even be there by the time we get there by the time we get to the end of the hour we not not even have any left speaking of which i'm going to introduce uh jay king jay king is our resident rock star rock hound who travels the globe bringing us incredible mine finds these are are gemstones that he makes right into gorgeous necklaces. If you like natural and if you love necklaces that are really unique that you can't see anywhere else, you're going to love this show. Everyone has a uh, shepherd's hook in the sterling silver. It is a finding that Jay created himself of every necklace in our two-hour show except one, which I will be showing you. But let's bring Jay in. Jay, are you are you ready to do some quick five and fives? I, I was born ready. I'm born for this to greatness. <laughs> All right, I hope you did your lunges and your stretches because this is going to be like, we're going to do some cardio right now. All right. All right. So it's five items, one minute per item. And we're going to start out right now with our first item, which is agate right here. All right. I have 112. 20 inch picante agate bead necklace at $55.38. Jay, go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like, I'll, okay, this has everything that all five and five seem to have in common, which is they're all like at some ridiculous, you know, crazy price that you could never, there, there's no way that you could, uh, you know, as far as the value, you could, you could never actually make any of these designs and sell them for that price. Um, this is unusual, it's uh, 20 inches, number one. It's Picante Agate, and it comes from a friend of mine in South Africa. Um, this material, it, uh, uh, you know, it's one of my favorite agates to work with. Number one, it takes an, it's so hard, it takes an incredible finish, an incredible polish. It's probably one of the more unique colors. You know, um, all agates are specific only for that one deposit. And that's, you know, in this case, that is that is the case too. It's just got a really an amazing, fun color. A again, I mean, you know, crazy, crazy value in a natural uh, agate. I love it. I love the colors. It's like, I feel like it's the color of like the lipstick and the eyeshadow. It's, it's such a cosmetic color, These that beautiful agate. Look pretty on everyone. Are we gonna move on? 
chrysocolla and red coral. So take a look at this gallery piece. I'm telling you, I have 89 left. That is it at $94. Even just the silver work alone, let me turn it around. Look at all that silver. This is a steal. Uh, you couldn't make this necklace for that price. Jay, uh, this is, I mean, every one of these is a steal. Well, it's, it's a steal. And here's the thing with this, okay? Like, you know, when they when they get to this clearance, it's not because they didn't sell me, read the reviews. Right. It's because we don't have enough really to run. That's why we're getting a minute. And I'm told not to talk over that. So I got to watch my <laughs> time here. Okay. What? Okay. Here's the crazy thing with this. Even if I wanted to make this necklace and this design again, it would be impossible. This is a very special chrysocolla that came from a... A small deposit. It was mined over 20 years ago. It comes from Mexico. And I get this from a friend of mine, Bruce Barlow. And um, I actually, I knew about this material for years and years and years. I just couldn't get him to sell it to me. Um, he finally broke down a few years back and went ahead and uh, sold it to me. A great look. One of probably one of the premier chrysocolas I've ever been able to work with my entire life. It's really, really super cool. All right, update on this. This one is 100% going to sell out. Item number 738303. Jump to hsn.com if you want to get the last one. Now, the next one, this blue carnival stone. I thought this was really spectacular. Um, it's a huge customer pick, and we also have about 100 left. I love the color on this, Jay, and the price, $58.25. If you're a denim girl, if you, I mean, this is going to be something you will wear so much, Jay. You know, in, it's funny that you would, you know, mention denim in, you know, this, because I have to tell you a funny story. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact where I found this and where I was located when we found it, you would think that this was denim lapis from Afghanistan. Or also, you know, I've seen denim lapis in uh, Chile. Also, it's uh, the only other place in planet Earth I've ever seen, uh, come across it. We found this in Brazil. So I thought maybe it, it looked like a form of lapis when we bought it. They call it Blue Carnival. And of course, uh, I, I'm sure that, that the name stems uh, from where it was found. It was found in Brazil. If you've ever been to Brazil during um, their Mardi Gras, you would, you would know why they call it Carnival. It's just fun, uh, just a great look. And like you said, this is a perfect, um, this would be a, a perfect color to go back to a lot of things, but uh, especially very denim friendly. Okay, the item number to order is 750633. Our next item is so spectacular. We only have 60 left. Let me just take it off the, here because I want you to take a look at sapphires. This is a uh, silver sapphire pendant and necklace. Look at the sparkle. Look at the magic of this. And you're getting this huge bail. So you can wear the necklace like this. You can wear the, the pendant on other things if you've got an Omega. It is so incredible. Jay, how how are we doing this sapphire necklace at 148.50? Uh, we just, we okay. have just, this is the most limited in the five and five. In, you know, number one, you couldn't, can you, can you imagine that you couldn't even look at the size of just the pendant? Let's not even, okay, let's not even talk about the necklace. This is a uh, sapphire from Malawi. This is untreated natural sapphire. Look at the size of this. You know, have you ever shopped around and see what they, you know, we, you know, I still have to buy, you know, the material. They sell this by carat weight. This is one of the of the four precious materials. So diamond, sapphire, ruby, emerald. The, look at the size of this sapphire. And this is a natural sapphire. That's just the pendant. What would you just pay just for the cabochon and the pendant? Look at the size of the freeform beads in the necklace. This is like, if you're a sapphire person, if you're a sapphire collector, you, you can't go wrong with this. But here again, just a crazy, crazy price. Even our original price was just because of what, you know, that we, we actually do it from the raw material. So this is beyond nuts. All right, well, we're gonna continue on. I've got one more necklace in our five and five. Also, very limited, amazing price. It is Honeystone. This beautiful, warm, uh, honey color, $61.20. Jay, this is gorgeous. This kind of even reminds me of amber. You know, it does, it does look a lot like butterscotch amber, and that's what I was gonna say. You know, um, 
This, this material, and here again, we have to call it honeystone because it's not just one specific uh, material. It's a form of jasper, and there's also some cal uh, chalcedonies in this. And so that's where you get that real high polish, that great gleam, great look. Um, all of this is cut from uh, the natural raw materials. I don't know of anybody else on planet Earth that has even has this material or has ever shown it before. So very limited, very rare. And this is one of those materials I find in my travels uh, just by totally by accident. You know, I'm, um, in this case, we were on our way to a turquoise mine <laughs> when I discovered this. And I discovered the material in a very small little village in the middle of nowhere. And uh, just a great look overall, a great neutral color. It goes with about anything. Okay, so that is our five and five. That was uh, super quick. That was lightning speed, and I already have an update, Jay. I've got a sellout for you. I think the Chrysocola has sold out. Okay, so the Chrysocola is sold out. Thank you so much for your calls and orders. It is not gonna be the last one that sells out, but that one's already completely gone. Um, you're gonna love it. What a steal of a deal. I love that you guys are watching. We're gonna have so much fun. Hey, um, Rob, am I live on Facebook? I see the little Facebook thing and it looks like I'm live on Facebook. I was, I was told I was not live on Facebook, but here it is right in front of my face. So we're live on Facebook. So you guys can go to our HSN's Facebook page or Helen Keeney HSN on Facebook and watch us live. I've already got people saying hi. Hi, Laura. Um, hi, uh, Mira, and by the way, I don't have my reading glasses on, so if I get everybody's name wrong, it's because it, I can barely see anything. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna continue on. Golden Dragon Turquoise, that's what I'm wearing. And also on a clearance price. And I love the beautiful colors of greens and blues in this, Jay. You know, this is, you know, for, you know, uh, we've been on, you know, we've had the Mind Find show for 27 years. Um, which has been uh, I just it's an amazing journey. But I've been doing this for 45 years. Uh, in 45 years, anybody who really knows us and, or knows anything about us, um, you know, turquoises are the thing that we're known for. We're even known for it in the industry. Um, we probably have, I don't know of anybody else that I'm aware of that has more different varieties of turquoise in productionable quantities. Uh, just like me and so many other people, um, you know, if you go to my man cave, my studio, you'll see I've got specimens. I've got quite a turquoise collection. I've been collecting my entire life. Um, the majority of those are gone now. I mean, you can't even get them. Um, what's cool with Golden Dragon, this is one of the uh, turquoises that we found. It was a brand new mine find. It's also has that I can honestly say I have a total exclusive on this. Uh, we were part of the mining process on this, or uh, we were at the ground ground level on it. Um, and so it was all mined out to where we could mine it. We could, we could really couldn't go any further into the side of the mountain without, you know, huge costs uh, being involved in it. So you're looking at some of the last uh, designs that I did, and we have very little to none of this material left over. It's very unique just in the fact of the different colors mm -hmm. in this. And these, this is all the natural color of this material. You know, if you, um, I think the closest it comes to, if I was gonna look at this, and of course, I know it's not, but you would think, almost think it's like Hubei turquoise. Oh, yes. It has a lot of those mm -hmm. same properties as yep. the Hubei as far as coloration. So just a great look. And here again, uh, I just want everybody to be aware Think of this, okay, the price that they're selling this for. Again, it's on a clearance. That doesn't mean it didn't sell. It's just that we have limited quantities. It's kind of like your last opportunity to get it. Uh, if you want this for your collection, this might be something that you might want to consider. But you could not produce this. It, you know, it did, think, I want you to think about this. Now, the necklace doesn't weigh four pounds, okay? But it takes over four pounds of the raw turquoise rough material to cut each of these necklaces. Each of these necklaces, we started out with at least four pounds, in some case, even more than that, just to come out with this final product. 
Yeah, I mean, it is really gorgeous. And I love, I actually love what Christina is wearing with this, the greens and the grays and the, I mean, it's like a perfect necklace to pull the, pull those colors out. Um, it very, very earth tone, very natural. And I know we're very limited. Our, our regular HSM price is $173.25. And just to let you know, our regular HSM prices are kind of in the, you know, wholesale range because Jay is, the, you know, minor manufacturer, jewelry designer, you know, chief, uh, what do they say, uh, bottle washer and everything. I mean, it's so direct. There's about five, six, to, you know, middlemen and probably more than that, you know, the markup in jewelry in a, you know, brick and mortar store can be 200%. So it's already a steal of a deal at 173. So at $99.95, even if you were a miner who knew how to make jewelry, you probably couldn't do this, right, Jay? Well, you know, and that, that's the, uh, that's, you know, that's kind of what makes uh, Mine Finds last 27 years. And mm -hmm. we've, you know, we're, we're really, to be honest with you, we're designers, we're manufacturers though. Um, normally, uh, I would be the person that you would come to that is actually making the jewelry. And then that would be sold to a distributor uh, who would uh, then sell it down the, the chain to somebody who finally would put it in a retail store. <laughs> yes. So, you know, we eliminate all of that. A great look, a great price, a wonderful value, and a very rare turquoise material. A gorgeous. Well, we're going to keep moving. I do have, we do the update first, Rob. Okay. Okay, we're ju we don't, we're just going to mention this for a minute. We've got a peanut wood pendant and necklace very, very limited, so we're not even going to do a full presentation. $96.20, down from $240. So you get the necklace and you get the pendant. So again, I, I can scooch it over. You get this gorgeous necklace. You could just have that look if you want to do that. And then you could take the pendant and put it on something else, maybe longer or shorter. And so you're actually getting two pieces that you can wear separately. The ring is gorgeous, and I love the silver work on this. And then the earrings, I think, are beautiful. It almost has like a Victorian setting to it. $39.40, the ring size is five through 12. By the way, it's more of a cigar band style. So I do recommend you go up one size. That's my recommendation, 092590. And I do have a update. The sapphire pendant from the five and five is now also sold out. So that's two of the five of the five and five are now completely sold out. So thank you for your calls and orders. You guys know how to shop. That was like, what is happening? I saw the brace on that. Uh, Jay, I don't know if, if we're gonna, is Jay, we're gonna give Jay a second to talk about this, the peanut wood, Rob, or do we have to scooch on? Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna have to move on. This is, like I said, Jay, we have more items than we have time to talk about, but the next piece, World Blue Turquoise and Gemstone Necklace, part of your gallery collection is a customer pick that Midnight Black Chalcedony looks absolutely incredible. Christina is showing it off. I'm gonna pop it on as well. Um, and this is reversible too, right, Jay? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, what you have going on here, and this is what's cool, and, or what I enjoy about what we do, is these are gallery pieces. I mean, where would you see something like this? I mean, you don't, you know, if you're from my neck of the woods, which uh, my neck of the woods is the Southwest. So, um, you know, like if you go to Sedona, uh, Scottsdale, Santa Fe, Taos, uh, Durango, uh, Vail, Jackson Hole, any of those, you know, a kind of artist type communities where, you know, you've got individual artists that are, you know, making one of a kind uh, pieces where that's where, you know, we all started. That's basically how I got, got started was making one of a kind designs. And I'm, I'm just, I'm still doing the same thing, but I'm doing it on a kind of a different level, maybe you would say. Um, you know, I guarantee you, if you saw this in a gallery, even if you could see it, um, you, then you would really understand what a value and, and how cool it is that we can do what we do. What this really has going for it is not just the design. And again, the necklace is reversible. We, we've, taken, we've taken Midnight Chalcedony. This is a, a, a natural black chalcedony. I get it out of uh, South Africa. And then it is inlaid with an exclusive royal blue turquoise. This turquoise uh, is a exclusive just for us. Um, we still have our exclusive on the mine, 
This um, is not only one of the finest grades of natural turquoise that I've ever had the privilege of working with, but I will tell you right now, as of, uh, as of today, this also is the most expensive turquoise that I have in my private inventory. Um, we, you know, we're only buying the really high grade material. Uh, by doing that though, to keep an exclusive on the mine, uh, we're having to pay a premium for the rough material. So this is a natural, look at the blue on this, okay? This, this, the, tur the blue in this turquoise. This is what everybody is going crazy for. I mean, this is the kind of material that people are buying it that aren't even in the jewelry business. They're buying it as a commodity, knowing that the, you know turquoise is getting harder and harder to get. This color that you're seeing here, this is a natural color uh, that, and it's that real vivid, vivid, high blue color naturally. This is the kind of material that, that you have these commodity brokers that are buying, like you would buy, like you would buy gold, silver, platinum, um, that you would buy, you know, uh, uh, any kind of commodity and stock it, knowing that down the road that you're betting on that because of the rarity of the material, it's gonna go up in value. And we're kind of seeing that in the turquoise world right now. One, one of the things I, I just wanna point out here, you know, we're, we're showing you th basically three of these on air right now. So you've got the one that Helen's wearing, you've got uh, the one that Christina's wearing, and then uh, we have the one that they're, you know, that they're, that the sample that they're doing mm -hmm. the, the bump shot on, okay? Yeah. If you All notice, yeah. every single <laughs> one is the same basic design, but because of the natural um, turquoise that is in them, every one is uniquely different. There are no two of these that will be totally identical. But if, if you're one of those, um, if you're one of those people that really likes to have things that are gonna be unique, unusual, things that you can hand down from generation to generation, this is the kind of design you might wanna think about. Um, it's a great look. You can wear it, and what I, what's cool about it is when um, when I design this, like most of my design, I, I, I design it so that you can, you know, it, it can have multiple uses. In this case, it's reversible. Like if you're just going out and you don't want the turquoise, you can wear this uh, with just the midnight calcity. It's finished on both sides. If you want that real drive, that pop of color, that brilliance, then you just turn it over to the turquoise side. But these are the kind of designs, they're big, they're bold. If you see this on Christina, okay? Even um, when, you know, like if you walk into a room, I guarantee you, people are, are gonna notice this look. <laughs> I mean, there's really no way not to notice it, right? It's like a beacon. So uh, a great look, a great design, and a love, uh, just a really uh, lovely color combination that I love to work with, which is mm -hmm. this real, real jet, jet black, high polished in this case, like that brilliant um, Cal Sydney takes an amazing polish. And then the thing that really just sets it off is this exclusive royal blue turquoise. Again, the most expensive uh, rough. This is, this is actually a photo of what, that's the natural rough. That's what it starts out. If I took those, those are, th those are right from the mine. I really haven't done anything there, just so you know, other than they've been washed. So the material's been washed. Once you cut that, then you get that real high blue. Now we didn't change colors or anything. That's just cut and then polished. That, so it hasn't been color enhanced or anything. This is natural color in the natural look in the natural turquoise. You know, this is one of my favorite necklaces I think that you've ever done. What I love about it is how you see it across the room. The blue is just that beautiful, gorgeous blue, like if you go to Greece and you look at that blue of the water, you're like, that doesn't even look like a color that's in nature. It's so blue and so perfect. This is a color in nature. This is not color enhanced, right? This is the color that comes out of the mind, as Jay was saying. And we're doing it on a big $40 sale price today. And you will get so many compliments. And what, like Jay was saying, you'll have it year after year after year. I will attest to the fact that the earrings are incredibly comfortable. I personally love 
love the French wire that has like a little bit of a drop to it. I've got longer hair, so it, it shows up and it, it really, it really moves when you move. And it's also sized perfect. I think the earrings are sized perfect to the necklace. Like they're not, um, you know, too big that they're heavy and they're not too small that they don't, you can't wear them by themselves with other things. I think the proportions of the earrings to the necklace are perfect. And that's like part of you know, the level of jewelry making that you're gonna get with uh, Jay. And it is completely reversible. The item number is 091036. We've got so much more. Honestly, it is gonna be uh, just quick, quick, quick. Uh, th but each each one has like an amazing story and I'm gonna take a phone call. <laughs> Jay, are we call it, we can take calls? Okay, so let me just continue on. Are we gonna go to the, sorry, are we gonna move on? Or we, we just got, okay. So if you'd like to get this, again, it, it is exclusive. I'm gonna show you reversibility one more time. I actually might buy this for myself after the show. I love this. If you love, if you love the, this bright, beautiful blue, and again, the most expensive turquoise that Jay has in, in his entire collection. And he's got a lot of different turquoise, a lot. All right, we're gonna talk next about, this is amazing, and I actually saw the launch of it in um, Adam's show, and he was talking about how limited this Charite is, and it is, when we talk about Charite, yeah, they were talking about the Charite. So this gorgeous purple Charite is the last of the last of the last. It was 195.75. Again, I watched it when Adam launched. When Adam launched, it and almost every single one sold out. We have a few left, so what we're doing is we're popping it on clearance price. It's gonna be gone like this. Almost a hundred dollars off. Seven four eight six one six. And Jay, this is the last of the charite. Unless somebody was just calling you to say, "Hey, we got more charite." <laughs> is that what the phone call was? Otherwise, it's the last of the charite. This is, this is one of the advantages of working at home. Okay. <laughs> you know I was so, going to tease you about that, Jay. You know I was going to let that go. <laughs> well, you, know, and, and you know that I take, you know me very well. I don't take anything seriously. I know you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Especially okay. me. <laughs> no, okay. But I just want to tell everybody this. Anybody who's watching, okay, take this from me, okay? Of everything that you've seen so far, and we're, and we're going to have even greater things, this is something you totally need to think about very, very hard, okay? This is the finest grade of Russian charite known to man, all right? Especially this necklace, okay? This is all triple A, double A grade charite. It does not get any better than this. This material in this quality is so rare. I can't even begin to tell you how rare this is. This is beyond a stupid price. Do you, do you know, even the original price that we were selling this for, do you know that I could have sold the rough material for probably three times that? Three times that. Just We have no more of this material. I have no way of getting any more of this material, unfortunately. Um, this uh, came from a special buy, the rough. This, this material was mined in the Ural Mountains in Russia over 25 years ago. This, this quality of charite virtually disappeared on the market. You can't find it now. If you, if you find anybody who has this, and I'm getting ready to go to Tucson. We're, we're gonna be live in Tucson this year, just so everybody, anybody who's watching, that it's gonna be a fun, fun time, fun show. I guarantee you that if they have this material and, and they have uh, this quality of material, to manufacture this necklace, this necklace would probably come in well at $800 to $1,000 wholesale. You, the size of the beads on this are insane. The quality of the material is insane. It doesn't get any better, guys. I wish I had more of this material. Do you know, I'll, I'll even tell you right now, um, we're, we're out of Charite. We completely have zero material left. I have been trying, I knew people that were able to, to kind of score some of the rough before I got to it. I've called them, holy, they are just insane on the prices. I mean, mm -hmm. they're, they're getting crazy, crazy prices. Like I said, even if I, even if I could buy from them, if they were willing to sell me the material at a decent, decent price, this same necklace wholesale, not retail, 
wholesale would be well over $1,000. By that the way, Jay, this for sure is going to sell out. Keep talking, but for sure this is going to sell out, for sure. Yeah, but I'm just telling you guys, look, okay, we, we got some great stuff uh, coming up, okay? But don't go to sleep on this one, okay? This is something to tell you the truth that I would buy for, for anybody or if you're going to buy it for yourself. This isn't something you're going to see next year. You're not going to see it for me next year or the year after that or the year after that. Um, they're not making any more. It was only mined uh, for about five years. This material was mined at least 25 years ago, at least 25 years ago. Okay, they're not making any more of it. And here again, are you going to see Charite? Yes. But you're going to, it's low, low grade stuff. I mean, it's actually, it's not even. Ooh, a, a, I am a so material. sorry, Jay, but we have sold this out. Another okay, sellout. Well, then I'm not going to talk about it anymore, Dan Helen, if you're going to be that way. Okay. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to call you after the show, Jay, and you and I are going to talk more about Charite. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jay and I, I actually wish I would have bought one of those for Sheila. You because know, I don't, I don't even have any samples of it, unfortunately. That's so beautiful. Oh, I've got one here, though, but they'll arrest me if I stick it in my purse on the way out. <laughs> but these two you are the last. They probably sold these just two. Just actually drop it in your purse, <laughs> Helen. There's ways of doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I've been here for 14 years for a reason. <laughs> I don't get caught. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's move on. Now, we talk about things that are unusual, rare with, uh, with Jay King in the line is nephrite jade. That, that, the beautiful natural jade, and then to marry it with uh, the gorgeous turquoise. I, I love this pairing. We've got green nephrite jade. This is angel peak turquoise, and then smoky amazonite all together, playing so well together in this incredible 20 and three quarter inch necklace. And by the way, I wanna show you something very unique about this necklace. It has a toggle clasp right here in the front. So if for those of you who, and Jay will tell the story about why he did this, but it's a toggle clasp in the front, right Jay? Yeah, you know, and if you don't like this design, you're gonna break my heart, because I designed it. No, I love it. <laughs> no, I love it. But you know, and, and I have to tell you, you know, I've been doing this for 45 years, and I've done a few designs in my life, you know. Um, this is the first time that, number one, let me clarify, the first time I've ever combined these three materials together. So you, in the, now, not in the earrings and the ring, of course, but in the necklace, you've got, um, you've got three different uh, uh, materials going on here. And the primary, um, besides the Amazite, the primary is you get that beautiful angel peak turquoise. Again, another Chilean turquoise known for its clarity, that deep blue. I don't have an exclusive on that, but um, but I, I get, let me, let me put it this way, I get the best material. What I love about this, and then you've got that uh, nephrite jade, which was the very first jade material that um, in 45 years that I was able to actually purchase, it tested, believe it or not, as jade, which is a rarity. Most of the jades that are sold, not on TV because they can't get away with it, is not jade at all, right? It, uh, jade's very specific. But what I, you pointed out on this design, and, and here again, I just thought this was so creative, it's so cool, is I used the toggle um, because you can actually put this on. Okay, even if you, you know, that's why we came up with the, uh, our finding, the hook and eye finding that Helen was talking about, uh, because we want it to be wear friendly, user friendly. This is so simple to put on. You just pull it up in front of you and just pull the toggle out and put it in. You can, it's not nothing, uh, if, you're like, if you're like a few people, as we get older, you know, it's a little challenge putting things on. This is so simple to accessorize with. And here again, this was part of our gallery collection. I'm not going to talk about price, even the original price that we sold this for. Do you realize if you weren't buying, we're, we're a niche business. If you weren't buying directly from us, um, this is really, um, you, you know, you would have a hard time even finding this wholesale for that value. That's kind of what's made us very successful. But a great look. This again, I mean, crazy, crazy value and not a lot of these left. And this is something as part of the gallery collection, so we, we won't repeat on it. So easy to do that little toggle. Wanted to show that to you, but it's also really long. 20 and three quarter inches. All right, we've got more goodies. There's only 130 pairs of earrings left in this collection. Very limited for this beautiful necklace, but we're now we're gonna move along. This is something that I showed you at the very top of the show. And
and already you started ordering it. About a little under 30 of you have already said, I, I want that necklace. <laughs> so it's already going very, very quickly. This is red cinnabar stone. Also very rare. And I believe that this is, it, Jay, have we had this on air before or is this the first time it's been on air? We, I think we showed it briefly um, at the end of one of our shows uh, a, a couple of months ago when we launched it. Um, you know, and when Helen and I were, um, you know, uh, just before um, we went on, you know, Helen gave me a call. Usually she gives me a call to, to make sure that I'm awake, you know, and I'm, I'm <laughs> actually like going to be alarm, here. Kind of like an alarm, like a wake-up call. Yeah, kind of <laughs> like an alarm clock. Um, but we discussed, you know, we were discussing a few things, and, you know, I was, when we got to this, uh, you know, she could hear the excitement in my voice because this is, okay, unfortunately we have to call this stone, okay? And the reason is, is Helen pointed this out earlier. So it's cinnabar, which is the reds. See the reds in this and the different, okay, that's cinnabar. But then it's a conglomerate, okay? So it's got, also it's got felspars in it and also has chalcedonies in it. So we can't call it just pure cinnabar. But the cinnabar, to tell you the truth is, now I found this in Indonesia. This is uh, uh, this material. I've also found it um, in uh, Canada, and um, I've also uh, found it in Brazil. So uh, there are, uh, are a couple of locations where you find it. This comes from Indonesia. Cinnabar is really, really rare. It's hard to get it. And it, when you get it, it's hard to really um, to work it because of uh, the, the structure of the cinnabar sometimes uh, makes it to where it doesn't polish well. I think because that it does have the felspar and it also does have the chalcedonies incorporated with it, it takes a wonderful polish. Every one of these guys will be a totally one of a kind design. There are no two of these that will be identical. It's a great look, uh, it's a fun look, and it's a fun material. And it's, it's one of those great materials that when people ask you what it is, you can actually have a story about it. You know, I guarantee you this isn't something, you know, um, I'll take, you get, I'll take, you know, take my challenge here, go to your best friend, the jeweler and ask him any way you could, uh, could uh, show me your cinnabar line <laughs> <laughs> and see what they say. Um, you know, this is this is just one of those items. Yeah, that, they're gonna think you're materials. talking about Cinnabon at the mall across the street, you know, but no, <laughs> they're not gonna know what you're talking about, Jay. <laughs> well, you know, um, even cinnabar, you know, like a lot of these materials that I do, uh, I guess, you know, every material for me, you know, it always, is you know, a lot of times I'll be laughing about something when I'm talking about it. And then later on, somebody will ask me, they say, what were you laughing about? And I'll say, well, um, when I see these materials I work with, and you have to understand, I mean, a lot of these, you know, it's it, it, the process of getting it is uh, sometimes very interesting, okay? And there, I've got a lot of funny stories. I just can't really tell a lot of them on air, right? <laughs> okay. And also, I, I don't wanna get, you know, you can't, you know, you, you just don't have time to talk. But a lot of, and this is one of those materials that um, I can't, and here again, I can't tell you the full story on the air. I, I, you know, I just, I can't, but you would, by the, by the end of, let's, by the end of my 20 minute uh, dissertation about <laughs> what it took to get this, you would be rolling on the ground. I mean, it's just so many funny things happen uh, on these trips. And uh, it's not like you just walk down the street and you say, oh yeah, could I, could I, uh, I, I'm interested in buying some cinnabar today, right? <laughs> I think. And you know, what's even more interesting is not only just finding it and how you found it, but also all the things that you have to do to get it out of the country and get it to where you can work it. So, I mean, um, half, sometimes half the story and half the fun is not only just finding a brand new mine find and a new material, um, it's, you know, acquiring it. And actually, sometimes I have to tell you, the easiest thing you do is actually find the rough. And then after that, it turns into a nightmare, right? Oh, no. <laughs> but, I mean, just so many funny things happened in the acquisition of this rough material that it's, at the time, a lot of them weren't that funny, right? <laughs> but afterwards, you know, you got to laugh because if you, if you didn't, I mean, you would just go, wow, what a, you know, what a world. <laughs>
<laughs> I love this, but look at this look. Is this cool or what? And it's so again, cool. Is... I love the way um, nature can put all the colors together. Interesting how nature yeah. never puts colors together that don't go together. All these amazing earth tones. Well, you know, here again, you know, it's, it's a conglomerate. So you know, you've got feldspar. Think about just, okay, just think about this. Okay, so you've got feldspar, chalcedony, and cinnabar all got together to party together, right? And then they all cramped into this little room and there was a lot of heat and pressure and temperature over a long period of time. And so now, you know, they're all compressed together. Um, so, you know, just how it's formed is cool, but just the rarity of, of actually having the ability for us, I think what makes it fun for us is having the ability to go out there in the world and you find things like this and you make it into jewelry and then you get to share it with everybody. Because these are things I'm telling you, these materials, just like most mine finds, um, uh, they're, you just, they're just not on the market. I mean, they're just not available. And I'm talking, when I say the market, I'm talking my world, okay? My world is the commercial market. They're just not available. You cannot buy this rough. No, but we've got it here today and we've got it here at a huge sale price, almost $40 off. Um, th this look amazing with, with reds and pinks and greens. And I, I just think you will love the way this goes with everything in your wardrobe, but also, Again, so unique. It's always fun to have the story of where, you know, where you got it, how how rare it is. I don't remember 759747. All right, so we're going to continue on with our next piece. This is this is the Oasis stone. And I love the design of this. That is a big pendant. So let me just show you. You're getting this beautiful bead necklace of Oasis stone, right? So you're getting this. You're also getting this gorgeous pendant. And I think for $100 off, it's not that we're saying you don't get the pendant anymore. And I'm going to turn this around because I want you to see the silver. Look at, it, look, at how, look at the workmanship. Oh, look how beautiful that is. This is the back. And this is the front. I mean, it is just incredible silversmiths creating this, uh, Jay and his team. And then the earrings are also half off. They have a big presence, French wire with all that silver in the back. That's a lot of silver. And this is, again, something that is just incredible. And now I know that uh, we might have like video of um, you over uh, like Australia where this mine is. I'm not sure if my producer has that, but this is an incredible piece that, that we're gonna talk about now. Let me scooch it over closer to me. I don't wanna pull it out of the shot. Well, number one, uh, and again, you know, I, I won't say this anymore. Well, I probably will. <laughs> You're not going to say anymore, but, but except right just, now. I mean, this is, come on. I mean, um, I are the manufacturer. Okay, I are the guy who actually <laughs> made this from the raw material. I know what it costs. I know what it would cost today to make this. Um, this is, if you, you know, if you're looking, this is part of our gallery collection. These are our gallery designs. The, you know, studio lighting's not really doing this material any big favors or anything. Um, but I will tell you this, this is such a crazy, crazy price. This is worth buying guys, get it home and then really truly look at what you're getting and look at the luster and look at the color of this material naturally. When you get it home, you're going to go, wow, that is cool. Um, this, it almost looks like hematite. It's, it's just a really, really cool material. Um, Oasis came from the fact that it, it comes from Australia and it comes from the, the middle of nowhere in the outback, okay? And we weren't going to this particular deposit. This You won't really call it a mine. It's more like a deposit that a friend of mine mines for us. Um, but the reason they call it Oasis is because um, there's a water, um, natural water oasis. Um, now, when I say oasis, everybody always envisions like uh, palm trees and dates, right? <laughs> no, but it's in a very arid area and you're flying and then all of a sudden um, we're in a, a Robinson R44 helicopter and we're flying and then all of a sudden you can see a water, kind of like a, a water thing coming up and you see, and the way you see it, it's in an arid area, you see green, which is very unusual. And then when you see green, then all of a sudden you see the water, beautiful, clear turquoise color. It's amazing. And this is harvested, mined 
very close to that, and that's why they call it Oasis. In fact, that is where, when they camp, that's where they camp uh, so that they have access to the water. And the water is literally crystal clear. It's absolutely beautiful in the middle of nowhere. And when I say in the middle of nowhere, you know, we flew over it in a helicopter, okay? We were in a helicopter. There's no road to it. I mean, you get there just by Jeep, you know, it's how, how they actually get there, you know, four wheel drive. It's it's not like there's a road out to this. Mm -hmm. It's like this deep, deep green almost. Um, so I, you're again, you're gonna love it when you get it home. It's so exciting. We've got another hour and 15 minutes and we're gonna move right along because we've got uh, our next piece which reminds me of like summer. This is like this beautiful, gorgeous chrysoprase graduated bead necklace. We also have earrings and then we've got the bracelet available. Uh, I'm gonna put all of these, this on Jay. So 18 and a quarter inches in the length with a two and three quarter inch extender. All of the findings are stamped 925 sterling silver. So it, I, I love the color. This. You know, to me, Jay, this is like an optimistic, cheerful necklace. It's very happy, happy color. Well, you know, you don't really find chrysoprase in many areas. And if you've ever traveled, which I've done a bit of it in my life, you know, just a little bit. <laughs> um, if you go to certain countries, chrysoprase, especially Korea, if you go to Korea and you go to any of the jewelry stores, they're really big on chrysoprase. And you can see some of the prices that you get for it. I mean, they're just chrysoprase crazy. Uh, also South America, believe it or not, uh, chrysoprase is extremely, extremely collectible, very prop. Um, they they really pro, you know, value chrysoprase. Uh, even though, as far as I know, I've never seen chrysoprase naturally um, in any kind of large form or real super quality in South America that I'm aware of. I, you know, I'm not saying I know of every single deposit in the world. Mm -hmm. What makes this really cool, unique, and different is this. This is a brand new material. Uh, we, you know, for years and years and years, when you saw chrysoprase on our show, it was uh, from the Belmont uh, deposit. Ooh, love that shot. Beautiful shot on Christina. And that's very representative of what the quality of this material is. Um, uh, when you, when you, we had Belmont chrysoprase, we went through the Belmont material, and these are new finds that I found. This particular material comes from the middle of Australia, totally in the outback. Um, it's uh, something that we're hoping that we're gonna be able to, down the road, be able to get more of the rough. Um, right now, you know, everything's kind of shut down. I can, in fact, I can't even, still can't get into Australia. Uh, it was one of the trips I had to cancel last year. Uh, uh, that I, we were gonna try to go in October. Um, but this material is just so unique. It's so different. And this is a natural chrysoprase. So there's nothing done to this at all. But this is something really, if you, if you like to collect things that are unique and different and things that really have a lot of value to them, but they're not really that well known, um, this is something you might want to consider. It's a great look. It's big and bold. You look at it on Christina too. Okay, you're looking back at that, and that's like at least, um, you know, 20 feet back, and and um, and you, you still, you know, see the presence of it. What we're showing you here, okay, um, that's not chrysoprase, but that's Amazonite. But that was um, taken on this trip, and so and that's my good friend Barry. Uh, he's my uh, one of, one of, we have numerous um, mining connections there, but um, this Chris Praves was actually found on that particular trip with Barry and I. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I love how like bright and, you know, and kind of liquid, it almost looks like liquid to me. I, I, I could see this like with a, like a white blouse and this beautiful chrysoprase as like in the summer, but you know, in the, in the winter, it, it just sort of like cheers you up. It's, it's like this really beautiful kind of spring happy. And it's just, it, it looks almost like water to me, like the beautiful, beautiful water. So you've got the earrings, the bracelet and the necklace and the bracelet is a jeweler's stretch. So, you know, none of that like, oh gosh, I hope I can put that on. You see, I've, I've got one on already. I can pop a second one on. These look beautiful when you layer them. So look at, look at how gorgeous that is. 
And again, this is exclusive for us at HSN and amazing sale price too. Yeah, you know, in, in this particular material, this uh, chrysoprase, uh, like I said, it, it comes out of Australian Outback and um, actually an old Opal connection of mine is is who who has this and and they they were mining precious opal. That's you know that was their kind of their forte, and one of their claims that they had they ran into the chrysoprase. So they they've got this on their claim. Um, I can't say I have an exclusive on it because I can't buy everything. And and also you know I, this is the the high grade material. Uh, you know I can't buy the lower grades of this. So. This is a brand new chrysoprase. It's it's a, a very unique chrysoprase. It's got such a nice clean color to it. It's very soft, very organic. Um, it's, you know, and they all have, you know, like when you work with these materials, you, you get certain feelings with this. With this one, it kind of like calms you down. It's kind of mellow, which uh, that's why they actually encouraged me to work with this material, just so you know. <laughs> they were hoping, I think it does. Like it makes you, it's chill, chill jewelry. <laughs> Okay, so we've got one more item in our first hour. We Then we have a whole other hour, but we premiered this, previewed it, excuse me, at the very top of the hour, because I said to my producer before the show, I said, we don't, Amber is one of Jay's number one favorite pe things, and we don't, we don't have a lot of it. We don't do a lot of it. And we used to do this show called Jewelry Host Pick years ago, and I would be, I would say to Jay, Jay, can you do like an Amber piece for me? This is gorgeous. One, two, three, four, five, six strands. $200 necklace for $99.93. Now the amber didn't lose value. It's not like it's $100 off because of anything. Uh, it's just, we don't have a lot of them. It's one show, it's gonna be quick. And I especially like the earrings that go back with this. They are so lightweight, but they're so incredibly beautiful and genuine light and dark amber in this. So it's a mixture of amber. Jay, this is one of my favorite pieces in the two hour show. I just think it's extraordinary. You know, this is very designer, very gallery. Uh, we won't even go with the stupid price. I mean, if you just think about, um, you know, just the craftsmanship that went into not only cutting the beads, but just being able to layer the beads to even string it. It's a great, Christina looks lovely on her. Looks lovely on Helen too. I don't want to start a fight here. Um, but <laughs> Christina um, would win. She's I, stronger than I am. <laughs> yeah. But if you notice how, what I love with this is we've done all the work for you, right? You know, you just put this on, you shake it out. It just layers beautifully. It's a great look. And it's a combination of the butterscotch amber and you got that beautiful cherry amber uh, as an offset. Um, you know, here again, these designs aren't easy to do. Amber for people who really um, aren't, you know, amber is one of these things that we call like a pearl. We would call an organic gem material. Amber is also an organic gem material. It's actually petrified amber. You're looking at material that was formed anywhere from 30 to 50 million years ago, million years ago. Um, it's prehistoric. Um, it's just an amazing, amazing material. And for people who don't realize this, you know, amber is extremely rare. Um, it's uh, not even found on most continents on planet Earth. There's very, very few places you actually find amber. And over the past years, uh, I've been blessed with the fact that uh, I know a lot of people who uh, were in the amber business uh, at young, a very young age. And even though they're not in the business anymore, uh, they, uh, you know, since we're friends, they have actually put me in contact with direct sources uh, to, that uh, people that are finding Amber and still able to get it. It's one of those things that I have to tell you, uh, uh, Amber uh, is not readily available. And, you know, one of the things that is, is just a basic basic thing in not just in gemstones but in anything is it's all based on supply and demand when you have a huge demand which there's a huge demand for the amber rough and you have a very limited or short supply of amber it only goes one direction and that's not down in price right mm -hmm. it goes up in price up in value and i think that you're going to see that amber is going to continually uh, go up in amber and i'll qualify that real amber okay um right now 
uh, a lot of the amber material that, um, that I see is not really amber at all. It's either compressed um, pine sap that they've colored, enhanced, mm. and you know they're they're selling finished goods, but it but it's it's it is resin, okay? It's tree resin, but it's just not fossilized, right? It wasn't created 30 to 50 mil, million years ago. Or we're seeing a lot of Colombian copal on the market, and copal is actually um, um, could be a, is created just like amber, and it's a form of amber. But instead of being 30 to 50 million years old, it's like three to five million years old. And uh, the copal is not near as hard as, uh, as this amber. This amber really takes a tremendous polish, extremely old, extremely hard. And, you know, it has a, all ambers, you know, they, they have a history to them. You know, the, if you get the big pieces of amber, which is what we cut this from, uh, the, you know, the larger pieces are, it, you know, it, it does come in, you know, various sizes. But, um, you know, like uh, they, they've discovered over 1,500, think about this, in amber. It's almost like a, a time capsule. They found uh, it's over 1,500 just insects alone, just insects that are now extinct. Um, I have, I think the prize of my collection in amber, I have this amazing um, piece of, uh, yellow amber. It's almost like a, a clear golden uh, amber, a little, a little bit, maybe a little darker than what we're showing here. And it's got a prehistoric scorpion in it. So that scorpion was climb, climb up that tree or whatever, got stuck and then over years got encased in the amber, right? Yeah. And then it fossilized. So that scorpion is 30 to 50 million years old. I, I saw the movie, Jay. To... There's also dinosaurs' DNA, right? So we can create new ones. <laughs> oh, well, okay, now... All right, well, I'm not going to go down through the, the, what we call the Jurassic Park theory. <laughs> now, but that's okay, not real? I'm not that movie's scientist. not real? <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not a scientist, and I, and I know I'm going to get a bunch of emails now, right, about people telling me how wrong I am. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I guess it's possible, but I think that was more Hollywood than uh, I thought reality. it was a documentary, but actually. Who am I to say? <laughs> I thought I'm completely <laughs> wrong. I don't know. Um, less than 100 left in the earrings. Earrings are about to sell out. Very, very popular. You see 200 and 60. That's between the earrings and the necklace. Oh, two dozen left now in the earrings. Last call. Last call in the earrings. Just two dozen left. Let me give you a little look. French wire, $36.25. Amazingly affordable. I, I mean, that's a great choice if you're like, I want some amber. I'm going to get the earrings. They look so beautiful. I, I And I love how lightweight they are, too. So if you want to grab the last couple, you've got to jump in right now. 095398. I don't believe you can make dinosaurs out of the earrings. I believe we did the double check to make sure that there's no um, DNA in there from a, a bug inside. What was it? A bug inside the amber that they got? It was a mosquito, I think. And then they took out the DNA. Not that I've seen the movie a thousand times, but. <laughs> well, you know, and, and uh, yeah, you know, it's what's really funny is, um, you know, there, there is the reality factor on that. People don't realize it was a movie, guys. Wait, what? <laughs> okay. What are you saying, Jay? What are you saying? So it is a storyline, but <laughs> I personally have never ex seen them extract DNA. And uh, <laughs> okay. and I have seen a few things that look like dinosaurs, but it, it really wasn't. It was just a nightmare. You know? just, okay. So. From one of your trips, <laughs> from one of your trips into who knows where. All right, we're coming up to almost 300 of these gone, um, and I don't have a lot more left. And I, I wanted to mention that the source of the amber, you mentioned it was from Lithuania, which I talked about in the promo, which my grandparents emigrated from in the 30s, which is like, I, I can't think of other you know, Lithuanian sources for beautiful gemstones that we have. So that's amazing. If you want to order and get in on this exclusive, it's 095598. And this concludes one hour. And we have a whole other hour with Jay. I've got a whole other hour of items that have new markdowns, um, a lot of great things that maybe you haven't seen yet. So we're going to take a, we're taking a teeny break first. Okay, we're going to take a teeny little break, and when we come back, I'm going to give you a little preview of some of our favorites that are coming up in hour number two of our two-hour show with J.K. Come on. Be prepared. 
for an overwhelming amount of compliments. You can do it! Let me show you how to make this beautiful seafood broth. Are you ready? You can't afford not to be brave. It's not even an option. When life puts a wall in front of you, you break it down. Remove the fear. Remove the uncertainty. Be authentic. They say fortune favors the bold. I've been bold all my life, and I don't plan on stopping anytime soon.